Good morning. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 132, verses 1, 4, and 5. appearing was made known. King Herod trembled for his throne, but he who offers heavenly birth sought not the kingdoms of the earth. Oh, what a When water reddened into wine, he spoke the word and forth it flowed in streams that nature there bestowed. All glory, Jesus, be to thee. For this thy glad epiphany, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Ghost The Holy Eucharist Rite 2 continues on page 355 in the Book of Common Prayer. <clears throat> Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. The Lessons. Genesis 1, 1 through 5. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 29, found on page 620 in the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 29, page 620. Let us pray the psalm in unison. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Hermon like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak tree thrive and strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying, glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. 
The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Acts. While Apollos, Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus. When he found some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, into what then were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hymn number 76. 76. Thanks the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings the tidings of the King of Kings. Then cleanse the every breast from sin, make straight the way for God with and let each heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest may come. For thou art our salvation, Lord, our refuge and our great reward. Without thy grace we waste away clouds that wither and decay. To heal the sick, stretch out thine hand, and bid the fallen sinner stand. Shine forth and let thy light restore earth's own true loveliness once more. All praise eternal Son to thee, whose advent of thy people free, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Spirit The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. John the Baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. 
I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. It seems a bit odd to be observing Jesus' baptism today. There's not too much in the lectionary that matches Christmas. And then come across Mark 1. Mark 1 records the baptism of Jesus. So let's jump ahead 30 years after Christmas and take a peek at this amazing text from Mark. And so John came, baptizing in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the river Jordan. This is an amazing scene to open the Gospel of Mark. When Malachi ends the Old Testament, there's a 400-year waiting that begins. Waiting in sadness as God's people live as the world's captives. Waiting in anticipation for God to show up and part more seas. Waiting for a Messiah that no one fully understands. And here, John comes in and preaches about repentance and forgiveness, and the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went to him. All Judea and all Jerusalem. Now remember, we're out in the desert. What every godly play child knows is a dangerous place. And all, all for this thing called baptism. To make matters even more strange, John is a little weird. He dresses in itchy camel's hair and eats locusts and wild honey. I find it somewhat comforting, though, to think that Jesus had a crazy cousin just like most of us. <laughs> Not that John was actually crazy, but people surely must have wondered. And this was his message. After me will come one more powerful than I, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Which is another way of saying Jesus' baptism is a little different and more important than John's. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. As Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn apart and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. Jesus began his public ministry after his baptism when the voice of his father's presence claimed him and proclaimed his love. This was a pivotal moment in the life of Jesus as he left family, work, and private life. Claimed by God, Jesus was now identified 
as the Son of God, the Messiah, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus' baptism is a life-changing event for all of us. We are baptized with the baptism of Jesus Christ. We are claimed by God through our faith in Christ Jesus. We know to whom we belong. We have our identity in Christ and therein lies our salvation. In baptism, we become full members of the body of Christ, the church. In baptism, we become sons and daughters of God. Nothing we ever do will cause our God to disown us. We are made by God, we are made for God, and we shall go to God at the end. And those are, if you will, the privileges of membership. There are also responsibilities of membership. As Steve Garnis Holmes says, baptism is no get out of jail card. It's empowerment to go in and set the prisoners free. Because we are baptized, our lives are different. We do not own ourselves. We belong to another. And if we think about that, if we incorporate it deeply into the way we think and feel about our existence, it must make an enormous difference to everything, to the way we see life, and live life, the way we spend our time and resources, the way we behave towards other people, for they are just like us, Christ's own forever. We are marked as Christ's own forever. We belong. Our identity has been revealed. What does this mean in light of the events on the day of Epiphany, January 6th, this past Wednesday in our nation's capital? On the feast of the Epiphany, when it should have been all about camels and wise men visiting the newborn Jesus, <clears throat> our country and the world was shocked to watch the storming of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. This type of video is what we're seeing from fragile countries all around the world who do not enjoy what we believe is the stability that can be found in our democracy. And yet, there it was. Chaotic images enveloping our country's seat of government on the television and on our computers and on our smartphones. As well, our concern conversation jammed the telephone lines we share with family and friends. Most would readily agree that this is not who we are. My assumption, my assumption is that we all were shocked and indeed shaken to the core when we saw people wandering around the Capitol desecrating it in ways that earlier, even on Wednesday morning, we would have thought unthinkable. Congressional offices trashed, windows broken, the Speaker of the House's podium stolen. Hearing of a woman hauled out on a stretcher with a massive wound who later died, along with three other rioters who now are no longer with us, as well as a member of the Capitol Police dead causes the rise of bile in one's throat. Watching a rioter sit in the chair of the President of the Senate, hastily vacated by Vice President Pence moments earlier for his own safety, sent me into despair. Seeing another rioter sitting at the desk of the Speaker of the House in her office, 
who lifted things from her desk was outrageous. So what do we do about all of this? As Christians, as Episcopalians, as the baptized? Well, of course, as citizens, we can get mad. But we are actually called to do what we have always done. We are simply called by God to be who we are, witnesses to the fact that despite differences which may define us in many ways, most importantly, we are brothers and sisters in Christ. We are kin who come to a common altar rail when Cohen doesn't man a different protocol and receive the bread of heaven and the cup of salvation. We do so united not in the way we think or vote, but rather we are united because we are of Christ and in Christ, indivisible from him and therefore by his will inseparable from one another. That is who we are. And that, I think, is what we need to continue to be, publicly and notoriously. May we simply shine as friends to a world that needs to know that we love one another. And that when we disagree, we do so recalling that first and foremost, we are kin. That is the way that Jesus made us in baptism. And Jesus, even when the going gets tough, gets his way. Thank God. Let us pray. God, help me to reveal your love to all, to shine with your light and light alone, especially to those who are not like me, to those of a different way, those I disagree with, those I abhor, are members of the same body. It is to them I am to reveal your love and shine with your light. Shine in me, God of love and light. Shine in me. Amen. On this traditional day of baptism, we renew our baptismal vows. Please turn in the Book of Common Prayer to page 292 as we renew our baptismal vows. Page 292. <clears throat> Do you reaffirm your renunciation of evil and renew your commitment to Jesus Christ? I do. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord. I will go with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? 
I will your self. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will with that self. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with that self. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed upon us the forgiveness of sins, keep us in eternal life by his grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Returning to page 360. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. <clears throat> For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Thank you. I'm mute right now, I think. Uh... <clears throat> the prayers of the people form four page 388 let us pray for the church and for the world grant almighty god that all who confess your name may be united in your truth live together in your love yeah. Okay. and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others, and to honor to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Helen, the Schulke family, Stephen, Tom Reed, Susan, Matt, Julie and Rich, Caleb, Melissa, Harry, Carl Jensen, Kitty, Alma Decker, Tom, Mark, Elizabeth, Aaron Kochman, Kathleen Woodward, 
Bill Collins, Heather, Jonna, Gabby Olson, Nadine Rutherford, Dorothy, Shana Kellogg, Brian S, Lauren, Larry, Shelley, Sheila Stiver Stearns, Judy Markser, April, Linda Porter, John Thay, Shar Cookson, Jack, Colin, Christina, Judy Fry, Barbara Bayer, Tracy, Mary Brown, Lajeda Clayton, Austin, Bill, Mike Messina, Mary Jane and family, Gloria, Kyle and Shay Trafton, Michael Huntley, Mary Kay Haugen, Sister Ann Walsh, Ben Tuss, Liz, Jim Devine, Stephen Urosco, Kathy, Ann Nur, Ted Nur, Bentley, Gary Markster, Terry O'Fallon, Chris, Jean Little, Haley, Molly, Michael Shea, Becky, Katie Jackson, John McPhee, Jordan Michelle, Michael, Jermaine Stivers, Maria Whitcraft, Elaine Killam, Hannah, Jane Olson, Heidi, Sue Kay, Natasha, Lisa Glennon family, and Crispin Davin. For all those in recovery, for all those serving in the military and their families, especially Sam Frank, <laughs> Seth Walters, Emily Olson, Kevin Anderson, and Brandon Anderson. For those working in essential services, including Katie Jensen, Bridget Owen, Bill Holmes, and Garth Hazer, and all those serving on the healthcare frontline, all those working in local businesses, social workers, truckers, sanitation workers, for all those working at and attending our schools. For these, we pray and give a hearty thanks. For those worldwide and here in Fergus County, suffering from and dying from COVID-19. Oh Lord, our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O oh lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Susan, and I apologize again. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's greet one another. I love hearing them pray. Peace. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Peace, everybody. Hey. Peace, everyone. Peace. Peace and love. Peace, everyone. Peace. 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 We have a couple of announcements today. A reminder that I will be outside for um, about 30 minutes following worship today. If you would like to drive up or walk up for to receive Holy Communion. Um, also, I do deliver prior to the service. So if you would like to receive that on Saturday prior to a Sunday morning service, please just let me know and I will see if that happens for you. Centering Prayer is next week by way of Zoom at 9 a.m. And our worship next week is at 10. Are there, um, once again, are there any birthdays or anniversaries today?
How about how about Judy Kellogg? We prayed for Judy last week. Hey, Angie. Anybody else? Kendra next week. We can have her pray for Kendra next week. If All right. Thank you. Ascribe to the Lord the honor to his name, bring offerings, and come into his courts. Hymn number 297. Mm -hmm. Descend, O oh Spirit, virgin flame, grant us this day with Jesus' name. Confirm our faith and soothe our doubt. Sign us as Christ within, without. Forbid us not this second birth. Grant unto us the greater word. And list us in your service, Lord. Baptize all nations with your Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Amen. Eucharistic Prayer A begins on page 361 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Because in the mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. 
On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took a cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ oh, has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! This is the table, not of the church, but of the Lord. It is made ready for those who love him and those who want to love him more. So come, you who have much faith and you who have little. You who have been here often and you who have just arrived. You who have tried to follow and you have failed. Come, because it is the Lord who invites you. It is his will that those who want him should meet him here. Page 365, let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food 
in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Life is short, and we do not have too much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel the way with us. Oh, be swift to love and make haste to be kind. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our closing hymn is 295. 295. God's children by adoption baptized into his grace. To Jesus Christ give glory, God's co-eternal Son. As members of his body, we live in him as one. And praise the Holy Spirit poured forth upon the earth, who sanctifies and guides us, made strong in our rebirth. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.